Let me know if that is better. Is this better? <laughs> I had to re-import one of my video um, capture devices, this one, and um, it, I didn't, I forgot to mute it. So it was, everything was listening to me. <laughs> so let me know if that is better. I think hopefully it was as easy to fix it as that. I'll wait to hear. Better? Is it good? <laughs> Yay, double era, super cool. <laughs> okay, thankfully that was an easy fix, but that's why I like to start just a little bit early. Thank y'all for being here and helping me figure it out. Okay, perfect. Yay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make a cat litter box today. I have to admit, I have never been a cat owner. I have never owned a cat. Um, so I, I really don't know that much about cat litter boxes, um, except that they're a box and you put like this litter stuff in it. Like, I think it's kind of like gravelly or um, like more like, not, not gravel, not rocks, but you know. Um, and, and that's about it. And then you scoop it as it like clumps together. That's what I know. <laughs> I've always had dogs. I've never had a cat. Um, so if I get anything wrong, all of you who have had cats, you can let me know. <laughs> Two Aras for the price of one. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Let me know if you're working on something while you're watching today. I don't really have a plan. I went uh, to the recycle bin and I grabbed all of these different things and I thought I could just kind of work through and and see what I can come up with. It's going to be a little bit spaceship, spaceship-esque. <laughs> uh, hello, hello. It's usually, usually either clay, paper, or wood. Okay, that makes sense. Cats own you, not the other way around. <laughs> well, I do know, <clears throat> I do know that if you have a cat, you're supposed to spoil them. So that's why we're going to make a really nice litter box for Centauri. Um, if you're new to my channel or you haven't really watched that much of the captain's quarters, the captain has a cat, Centauri, and Centauri is pretty spoiled. Um, he's the only other living, breathing creature on the ship with the captain. Um, everything else is robots. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to spoil, uh, Centauri today with a really nice litter box and I'm okay with making it look kind of over the top. It is going to be hidden in the back a little bit. So it's almost going to be an Easter egg. It's not going to be front and center where anyone's just going to like walk up to the to the project and go, oh, a litter box. It's gonna be kind of hidden. You're actually really gonna to have to look and explore the project to find it, so. <laughs> Let's see. I'm working on the fishy house and luckily it's smelling a lot better. That's good. <laughs> it's very good. Um, who else is working? Working on Summer ween project. Ooh, nice. <laughs> My cat calls me can opener. <laughs> uh, it's like a box with a sand like substance. Okay. Well, I have sand, so, um, hopefully we can make that work. <laughs> yes. We spoil our kitty babies. Well, I like to spoil my puppies. Um, but I think it's really exciting to have a cat in this project so I can kind of do some different things. Actually, no, the, Adam, the Adams family had a cat. They had Kitty. <laughs> he didn't get any, get any um, like special stuff or anything. He literally was just made last October and I took him to the project. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you what I have and kind of tell you my idea. I want it to be, have some more like circular shape to it. I think that's, would, um, make it seem a little bit more uh, spaceship-like or new age. Uh, one of my patrons sent me 
a link to, it was like Ro Robo Litter or Litter Robot. Um, and that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool looking. It was rounded. So I, I grabbed these round pieces. These are some like thicker um, materials here. Uh, you need to keep the box clean. Centauri needs a kitty litter cleaning pot. Well, I'm hoping this will kind of um, double as like a self-cleaning thing. And I'm putting it near the plant room. So hopefully anything that is created by Centauri can be used as fertilizer for the plants. That's my plan to have somewhat of an efficient made up fake spaceship. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm, if, if you have questions um, about what I'm doing, I know I haven't really started yet, um, feel free if I don't see them, um, you can always re-ask them after a little bit has gone by because there is a delay, so there's still a chance I might see it. Um, so just give it a second, but if I do miss a question, um, you can put it back in after you wait for a little bit. Do you add your water to Mod Podge and paint? Um, it depends. Um, I've actually never added water to Mod Podge. Um, I usually use it full strength, um, but I have added it to paint just so that it's like a little bit more watered down, more like a wash effect. Okay, so I have these. These are some items that I've been really loving for the spaceship look. These go on top of um, like cans. They're like the new can holder things so that um, you don't like they don't get tossed into the ocean and then fish and turtles get stuck in them they look really cool they look like spaceship pieces just on their own so i've been saving these and like cutting off bits on here um this is like a container i can't remember the dessert what the dessert is called um uh is my audio still okay i see a couple people saying that there's an echo and then that it's faint, um, but they may have just been coming in like earlier. So let me know if anything is not working. <laughs> um, I can't remember what the name of this. It's like, they're like little balls that you put in the freezer and they have ice cream inside of them. Anyway, I saved this cause it was nice and round. I don't know how easy it's going to be to cut. Um, and then of course I have these straws. I ordered like an entire pack of these to use. And um, so I can like, you know, I don't know, some kind of like vacuum or something <laughs> type of thing. Um, how about using kinetic sand for kitty litter? Hmm, that's interesting. Um, much better, still good. Okay, I can actually bring the microphone a little bit closer. I don't know if it's making, oh, there we go. Okay, microphone is a little bit closer. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I think actually we have kinetic sand. It's like purple, but you know, this is a space age litter box. So you never know. Okay. I have these things. These are the things I made. <laughs> Hi, Brad. <laughs> uh, these are the things I made the cat tunnels out of. It's just kind of like a bigger version of this. And then I also have, um, these pieces here. They're just extra laser cut pieces. And then I have cardboard and these bits. Um, these were sent to me by Rob. They're like extra bits off of a, uh, like, like some kit, like a plastic kit. Microphone closer is good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this as just kind of a base. Um, because I think this is too big. And the reason I have Centauri here is we can kind of see. Although, is that too big? Let me know what you think. How much room does a cat need to like go to the bathroom? We have quite a bit of space where it's going. So, it's pretty litter. <laughs> Plant room, fertilizer, yep. We're on the same thinking path. Mochi, that's right, it was Mochi. Mochi was in here. <laughs> And I was like, what a cool tray. Even if I don't use it to build something, like it could be used to like store something in a drawer. Okay, so let me know which one you think, the smaller one or the bigger one. Um, I'm open to either. 
I did take a picture of where it's going. So hold on one second. Let me pull it up on my phone. Make sure no one's texting me their top secret secrets while I'm showing you. Okay, so this, if you can kind of see, this is um, the back part of the 17th century piece. So this is where the tunnel's coming out of the back where the cat closet is. And so it is going right there. So you actually have to look around the back panel. This is the back panel that I worked on. It's going right in there. So there's quite a bit of room for it. So it can be kind of big. Um, so yeah, let, let me know what you think, which, which one smaller, smaller one is better. Lots of room. <laughs> I see a few people saying different things. Smaller. The bigger one is good for an exercise wheel. <laughs> well, let's go with the smaller one. And then if I build onto it, then we have more room to build onto it. So I'll do the smaller one. And if it just doesn't feel right, then I'll keep this one closer by. Okay. Um, I need a pencil. All this stuff and I don't have a pencil. There we go. Okay, so I wanna mark off how wide to make it. Probably like an inch and a half, I'm thinking. Inch and a half deep. So that would be a foot and a half deep. I think that's probably pretty good. So I'm just gonna roll it on my table and just keep marking around the inch and a half mark so that hopefully I can cut it fairly decently. That's the only drawback of using the smaller one is that I have to cut it down. So I think the bigger one's probably a good width but it is thicker, so it'd be harder to cut. Okay. I think, uh, well, that's kind of wobbly. <laughs> I was like, this is a great way to do this. Oh, and maybe not. All right, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> Since it's self-clean, a bigger one, is it necessary? Oh, that's a good point. Just an observation, my lot have one for peeing and another for pooping. Really interesting. Hmm. I didn't know cats were so organized in that, in that manner. Although I think dogs are like that too. Like they'll just like, at least Stormy. She has specific spots she goes to when she has to do specific business. <laughs> I won't embarrass her too much. She doesn't want everyone to know all her secrets. Yeah, this is a lot easier to cut through than that thicker one would have been. It's not going to be the straightest line, but it'll be a good start. And then I can kind of shave off the extra. <laughs> the small bucks, they kick the litter out so you can have some around the box for a realistic effect. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh sorry Joanna I hope you feel better I had a friend who went through that but she's doing a lot better now okay so we're going to cut through like so now we have the base of our box. Uh, I'm gonna grab some cardboard. So I know we need to like cut off or like section off the very front area. And then I imagine they don't wanna like jump in there. So maybe like a step up to get into the box is my thought process. Um, cat owners, you can let me know. <laughs> Do they, they want to like, like easily walk in or are they okay with jumping? I'm not sure. 
My cat is like a hurricane when he goes to the litter box, always kicks litter everywhere. It's making a statement. <laughs> it's a, I have been here statement. <laughs> Okay, so I want Centauri to have plenty of head space. Um, so maybe kind of something like this. I probably want to put it in on the inside. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trace this and cut out a piece like that so I can just kind of glue it on the inside. Um, some cats step up and some jump. Confetti? Oh, that's a good idea for, like, litter, because some of it is made with paper. Cats are okay with jumping into a box as long as it isn't too high up. 12 inches is a good height for a box. My cat uses different boxes for number one and two. I did not know. Interesting. I will have to keep that in mind, because I do want Centauri to be spoiled. Uh, miniature wise <laughs> so we shall see we'll see what we can do I'm gonna cut through this piece and I do have my hot glue gun hot and ready to go so hopefully we can move this along pretty quickly hey that fits pretty good <laughs> tracing works yay <laughs> They grab their litter, the litter with their paws and sprinkle it around the house. <laughs> well, that is good to know. I have been trying to keep it realistic as far as um, uh, Centauri goes. Like I have um, pillows kind of around and I have some cat toys sprinkled around. So um, he's definitely living in the space. It's not just, you know, someone goes, is there maybe a cat here? Like, no, there's definitely a cat in the space so I'm gonna glue this piece in and then I think I'll I'll probably fully close off the other side um, yeah probably Fully close off the other side do you do do they want to have it open air is open air better or is it like more closed or is that more per cat um, I'm glad we're doing this in a live stream because <laughs> these would all be questions I'd be sitting here going I don't I don't know the answers <laughs> do cats want it to be like like a breeze flowing through I don't know my daughter lives in a national park, but her two still come in to use the litter tray. <laughs> Thanks, Aira. Glad your friend is better now. I'm three years and three months in, so I'll not ever get better. Oh, I'm sorry. Unless there's new research and effective treatments. Well, I hope there is. I hope they, they get something figured out soon, because I, I know there's people dealing with it. Especially like you, obviously, and my friend for for a long time. And I actually don't know if she's still got things going on. I just know that she's better than she was. Let's see. Depends on the cat. More closed. Most cats prefer an open box. Gail says if you use a purple sand, you could sprinkle it in interesting places. That's true. It could do like little like cat paws in purple sprinkles. <laughs> My cat doesn't have a preference. We had litter boxes with and without lids. It's a cat by cat thing. Hmm. Let me think. Centauri has a closet that he likes, in my opinion. He likes tubes, so I don't think he's like really worried about enclosed spaces. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and enclose it um, just because we have that precedent that there are enclosed spaces that Centauri deals with. So I'm going to go ahead and I probably should have done this before I glued this other piece in, but I think I can still reach. 
So we'll go ahead and close off the back. I'm gonna cut this with scissors. Ava, most questions can be answered with it. Depends on the cat. <laughs> well, that is good to know. I mean, I guess the same thing can go for, go for dogs because all of my dogs have been very different. That is a cat thing. Some like a boxed in one and some like it more open. They have opinions, huh? Much like children. <laughs> They just start having opinions. Okay. So we'll get this piece in there. Hopefully that's about the right size. I can also cut more on it if I need to. Oh, this did not stick very well. So we'll have like a little enclosed piece like this. Now, this is a pretty basic design, but I wanna add more to it. I need a stand. I think I do wanna do at least one simple step up. So we will be adding more. So don't worry, <laughs> we have more to do. Um, Dorothy uses glow in the dark gravel uh, ground up. That would look cool. Like, do they, I think they have like a like fish tank stuff. I don't know if that'd be too big. That may be out of scale. Um, but like fish tank type gravel. I'm going to hold this for a second because I'm using some tacky glue. <laughs> Cats have tons of opinions. They aren't shy about letting you know what they are. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to use, I'm not going to use hot glue for this. I'm going to use tacky glue so I have time to get it in place. And then we can start making it, once we have the gen, like the general shape, we can give it more of a spaceship vibe and add some greeblies and all sorts of things. Support so it doesn't just go rolling away whenever Poor Centauri steps in. All right, making kind of a mess, but everything will be painted. <laughs> Believe me, we will paint anything that is not quite looking right. And then I have some drywall spackle, uh, some lightweight. Um, spackle that I can kind of cover up the edges so if it's not fitting perfectly like I can see light going through there through the edges um, but that's okay it's cut enough that I think it will hold and be okay all right so now I need to uh, figure out some supports some legs so we don't have a roll away litter box um, hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I like it could sit on something like this. Like so. But then again, we'd have to have that um, step up thing that I was talking about. But that's not too bad. Let me cut one of these off and then we can kind of see how it looks. Doesn't have to be the final answer to the stand. But could be a simple a simple and pretty quick answer to the stand. And this is just a pair of flush cutters that I'm using to cut through the plastic in case you're wondering if you have some of these and you want to uh, use them for something. They cut through it pretty well, comes off pretty cleanly, which is nice. combination poop box exercise wheel would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting for the poor cat and for you <laughs> after the you get to cleanup mode. So this would be kind of like like this. Let me get Centauri again. Make sure I don't have glue on my hands. <laughs> All right. So he's about that size next to it. So I don't know if he would jump up in there still or would I need like a step? Hmm. 
Uh, most people use a tray under a cat box. That will look good. Oh, okay. Should I do it like this? No, that kind of looks weird. I mean, I could do two of them. Let me get another one. Let me cut off another one here. That was dangerous, sorry. I'm glad that wasn't on camera. Be careful when you're using these. They're pretty safe, but if you get too excited and start cutting too quickly, it can be kind of dangerous. There we go. Okay, that one did not cut off as cleanly. Uh, steps, okay, I see a lot of steps. <laughs> Looks kind of like a litter robot. Yeah, I want it to hopefully look like it's got enough bells and whistles that it could possibly um, clean itself, you know, or at least clean, like take take the take the items out of the litter box and uh, put them into the plant room or into a useful place for the plant room. So that looks kind of interesting, but I don't know. Kind of looks good with just one. And then the other thing I was thinking, if it if it needed to have some kind of tray, it's just not a very big tray though. It could go like that. I don't know. I'm just th I'm thinking just one. So let me know what you think. You could cut a notch in the opening for him to walk to you through. Oh, that's a good idea. Kind of like. Hold on. I think I've seen that on. Uh, cat beds before, or no, cat, well, beds and litter boxes, where it's kind of like, like this. This is still just not glued in there very well. Well, that's good because I can tear it out and cut this new opening. <laughs> then I think it'll give it um, more of a look. Just one, just one. Can you fit one inside to be the processor? Ooh, good question. Hmm, I might be able to cut away the excess. Good idea, I like that. We might be able to fit one inside. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out the notch that was suggested. I like that idea. Hopefully somewhat even. I just kind of sketched it on there. I think this is the, like, even though this won't be front and center, it's not going to be the most, like, eye-catching um, miniature. Like, I think this is the fun part of miniatures, that you can just, like, go all in on details that really, in the end, you might be the only one who knows is there. <laughs> that it's there. You're just, like, there's a secret litter box. Surprise. You have to go find it. <laughs> It's too shallow. Hmm. Well, once it fills up, it's probably going to be filled up about six inches in real life. Okay, before I put that in, kind of like the lip there, before I put that in, let's try and fit... Uh, I guess I'm going to use the one, this one has writing on it that says 100% uh, recyclable. So I'm going to use this one for the back. We'll see if we can get it fit, fit it in. <laughs> uh, could it be a wall mounted box with steps up to it? Um, I don't think I want to permanently mount it. Where my clippers go? I don't think I want to permanently mount it just because um, for ease of like transporting everything. Um, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. I think I want it to just be able to be sat out on the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these pieces off. And now see if I can squeeze it in there. Oh, yeah, that works in there. That's almost perfect. We could not have planned that better. <laughs> 
Well, now that it's in there, I don't know. I can't get glue in there. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get some tweezers, get it back out there so I can at least put glue on it. Uh, let's see. Having a robot in the same area of the litter box is a good idea to clean up tray litter like the robots in the plant room. Um, I think I might be able to put one in there. Um, we'll see. I'm really going to have to start working on the back part of the captain's quarters, like the whole project, because that's going to be if, if it goes into the case where the Adams family is at the museum, the back is actually going to be front and center what people see first. So I need to do a lot of work <laughs> to make it look a bit more impressive. All right, so we have this piece in the back. I think that's pretty cool. And it'll kind of look like it, it does something if you look in there. And then Kind of get all the excess glue off of there. Let me figure out. This needs to be kind of lined up. Although if that thing rotates in the back, I guess you probably won't even really, it won't always be lined up perfectly. It almost looks like a fan. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it like rotates and like cleans. I think that's what the, um, the actual real life exists robot litter box does. <laughs> uh oh. I'm sorry, cat crazy. I haven't seen anything. I haven't. Sorry if I missed your. Um, comments. It's hard to see them all at once. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here and glue it down. I'm just trying to grab whatever comments I see first, so I'm sorry if I miss if I missed yours or anybody else's. I really don't try to ignore anybody, I promise. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this in. So it looks like so. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this down here and hopefully glue that into place and then we can work on uh, the steps. So I think that's looking pretty space age. <laughs> and we'll get this on here. The litter robot I had rotated, the ball where the litter was rotated had a, um, had a ball and it did its thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, your kits, wood or cardboard? My kits are made out of mat board. Um, it's like the material that gets, um, like that goes around uh, photos in like a frame type, like in photo frames. And so it's kind of like pressed paper. And I really like it. So you can kind of sand it and put it together like wood. Um, it doesn't have like the texture of wood though. It's like really, really smooth, so. <laughs> All right, so we have this right here. And I think if we just like did one simple step up, then we can see how that looks. I'm just going to do like a simple piece from cardboard and if we like it, we can keep it. If not, I can recut it. Um, I think 
needs to be like like a thinner one maybe I'm gonna cut it in half we'll do a thinner piece just to get an idea of how the, how the step needs to be. All right, so we'll do this. And this almost kind of more like a ramp step. I don't want it to be like too intrusive, like too, like take away from the design of the rest of it. Um, so you can let me know what you think. Is that enough? <laughs> Is that enough to get him like up there and into the into the box? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hi everyone who's just coming in. Yeah, I don't want anything that's like a huge step, but I think I think that's wide enough. Uh Oh, like a ramp? We can try a ramp. We can do try a ramp. Let's do it. Because this is almost basically a ramp anyway, so <laughs> we shall try it out. Uh, I was going to get a ruler so I can cut a straight line. Hold on. Okay. Um, try to keep it about the same length, or it's about the same width. Yeah, we can just do a ramp, I think. Okay, we'll do that. Keep it simple. Simple lines, I think, are the best. All right, so we will cut here. See if that works. And then we can glue it in place. And I might be able to put like a little bit like a would like carp carpet work. Like I have some material that might look like carpet. So it'll kind of go up like that. Like so. <laughs> if I actually show you on the camera. Okay, I'm going to sand this slightly just so I give a little bit more tooth to the plastic. Just so when I glue it down, hopefully it takes hold pretty well. Oh, I'm pushing this piece out of place again. This piece does not want to stay glued. <laughs> adding a tiny bit of hot glue to kind of stabilize it so that as I'm continuing to work I don't I don't always trust hot glue for like um, like my only glue but it does help stabilize things sometimes <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in place might make it hard to paint other things later. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I want to get I want to see how it like comes together in the end. All right. So here we go. Uh, okay, I need to chop a little bit more off the bottom. It's like pushing the ramp off. 
Okay. So we'll get that on there. Like so. It's kind of steep, but I think it'll work. Yeah, it, it is steep. <laughs> it is a bit steep, but I think it'll be okay. So we'll leave that. And really you're gonna be seeing it kind of like this from afar. Okay, so now let's add on some things that'll like make it look a bit more um, spaceship-esque. <laughs> a cat can use the ramp to scratch on too. That's a good point. Especially if it's like the only carpet that's in the entire spaceship. <laughs> okay. Now, this is where these will come in handy. These were sent to me by Rob. And let's see what we can kind of maybe put on to the project to see how it'll work. So like things like this piece right here, hold on, let me get back on camera. Things like this piece on here, um, it can kind of like be drilled into the side. So I'm gonna cut this, cut this piece, and cut here, like so. So something like this could be, I don't want it to look like a handle too much, but some kind of like function Uh, what do you think? It's looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Cats can clip 100% vertical up a tree. <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem. Well, some of Centauri's um, pipes that go up the back are very, very steep. <laughs> For sure. So, uh, Centauri's used to the verticals. You need a litter, litter scoop. <laughs> yes, we will need that. Well, but I wonder if the, if our invention here, our little um, space cat litter box uh, will like scoop itself maybe? I don't know. Okay, so maybe something like that. Um, I'm just gonna start gluing stuff on. <laughs> See, you could add tread strips. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe make it a little easier to uh, climb. What does the future of cat litter look like? We were talking about maybe possibly purple, um, purple kinetic sand. Although the only thing I worry about with that is now that I'm thinking about it is kinetic sand does have a bit of moisture in it and the moisture may not like hold up well in the cardboard. So <laughs> that may not work so, uh, super well. Is there a scratching post somewhere? I don't know, I don't have a scratching post. I might be able to make the side of this a scratching post. Although I don't know if cats like to um, like play near their litter box. I don't know. Okay, that is not sticking at all. So I am gonna have to probably drill into this a little bit because that does not want to stick. So let me mark off where I want that to go with my elusive pencil that's sitting right next to me. We'll go right here. Like so okay so I'm just gonna drill in with my craft knife cuz I don't feel like getting out the drill <laughs> see if I can get something big enough 
Definitely self-cleaning. Can't see the captain scooping poop. <laughs> uh, my first live chat. Welcome, Denise. <laughs> Maybe you could make the rod go into one of the holes on the base. Oh, that's a good idea, too. I'm going to try and see if I can get it to go into this cardboard. Um, so I kind of like it on the side, but I have more. So we can play around with adding more in other places, too. Just be careful if you try, if you do this with your own craft knife, make sure your hand is not on the other side of the cardboard. That does not feel good. All right. Go in here like so. Okay, let's see if this will work now. Almost. So close. <laughs> Glitter for litter. <laughs> Oh my goodness I that would be a lot that would be a, <laughs> that would be quite a bit okay let's see if this will work come on okay it doesn't go completely in there but that's okay because I don't want it like sticking through because I can kind of sand that down and put some spackle over it, but it will stick a lot better. So we have our first greebly on the side. <laughs> My daughter's cat puts her dirty clothes in the litter box, isn't... My daughter's cat puts her dirty clothes in the litter box, isn't to suit her since my daughter... Oh, since your daughter does the, <laughs> does the cleaning. Well, yeah, if that's where your clothes were going to end up. I'm sure you would want it to be as clean as possible. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add the glue in now. Hopefully it will stay in. Okay. There we go. We have that piece in there. Let's see if we can find some other interesting pieces that could add to the story. I think this might've come from like a car kit or something like that. Um, so we can even add like one of these pieces to the center to help the center portion look even more like it does something. There we go. So kind of like this. Although that might be impeding too much on the space. I think that's impeding too much on the cat's space in the box. <laughs> and I know, I know the cat's not actually going to use this, but um, yeah, I want it to at least be somewhat believable. Uh, robot, robot arm to swing in and scoop litter <laughs> and then drop it down the tube. Oh, I forgot we had, um, the tubes as well. Let's see. Okay, well think about that. Um, where is that tube? Because I was thinking it would be cool if it kind of came out of the box and like disappeared behind it. So like maybe something was being reused. So because maybe I can get this to like go here and then back like so. What do y'all think? Um, put something solid as the bottom of the box and just glue the tech. Yeah, I think I'll probably um, fill it with like some aluminum foil because you can shape that pretty well. And then um, I'll just, I'll put, I'll mix up sand and paint and glue and then just kind of dump that in there. And that works pretty well most of the time. <laughs> Does tacky work? Does tacky glue work well with plastic? Uh, it can if um, you sand it and there's enough for the tacky glue to grab hold of, but really you're gonna be better off with super glue probably. <laughs> uh, you need a vent at the top to get rid of the smells. I have like this 
like this. I was thinking maybe we could glue that on somehow. Okay, let me try and do this tube thing. See if I can figure that out. Because I did think it'd be cool if it, like it doesn't actually have to attach to anything because you won't be able to see behind it. The only thing is it doesn't bend very well. So I don't know if I could do a, a tight bend. The tube could send it to the incinerator. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Could just kind of go off like that. Like this. Um, let's see if I can cut into it. It'll be covered up. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, I guess, that it would come from underneath the litter. Like whatever this mechanism is, it would like go around and like then it could be scooped up. So maybe this should come out of the back like so. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Nancy. Have a drink on me. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Uh, put the metal detail on the back so it looks like the mechanism makes it turn. Oh, okay. I can do that. Let me see. This piece. That could go on the back. You probably would never see it, but it's kind of, again, one of those things where it's like, I can make the miniature look as detailed as I want, even if no one ever sees it. <laughs> uh, let me sand it. So um, I'll probably put it on with tacky glue. And uh, what I'll do is I'm just gonna sand the edge to get it to have as much um, tooth as possible. And then, and then I can use the tacky glue, so. Put a bendable wire inside to help hold its shape. Oh, that's a good idea. Do I have a wire that will do that? I'm gonna need a strong wire. Probably like a, a hang, like a hanger wire would do that really well. All right, my cardboard is not even, so. <laughs> ah. We'll have to see if that holds. I don't know if it'll hold. Let's see. The vent could go in the back. The tube could just empty out the space. Then a matching circle on the inside. Empty out into space. Got you. I, I would write it as empty the space, then it's empty out into space. I understand. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see if that dries and holds. Fingers crossed. And let's see, um, let me see if I have a wire. I might just have it like loop like this. So you kind of see that there's some kind of tube back there, but you don't really know what it's doing. Kind of like if it comes up like this. Is that too weird? Is that too like outer space <laughs> to just have a tube like go up and like disappear? Because I do want it to look like maybe it goes somewhere. So. Uh, can you warm the tube to bend it more? Let me see if my hot glue gun will bend it a little bit more. I just don't think I have any wire that's strong enough to keep its shape. That's a good idea though. I'm just putting this, the end of my hot glue gun is hot. So I'm just gonna hold this here for a bit, see if it'll do anything. <laughs> and then I could maybe hot glue it in place. Not weird at all, just make it go straight up. Uh, what was Linda's idea? Oh, <laughs> go out in space. <laughs> Poo hitting a passing ship. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to put too much detail into this, just in case you're wondering. Um, 
I would, I'm thinking that the, uh, that it's going to be a fairly efficient machine. So there's not going to be too much going on. So I could have it look like it comes out the back and like goes off to the side like so, cause it is going to be sitting at the back of the plant room. So I think I'm, I might go with that. So it just kind of, there's a hint of, hey, there's some kind of tubing that does something, but you don't really know what it does or where it goes. <laughs> Keeps the mystery alive. Hello, welcome to the stream. Everyone who's just come in. <laughs> no, we're, no, we're not putting anything, any cat poop in the tube. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I have in the past done uh, like some bird poop on my miniatures, um, but uh, I just, I, I can't do it for this one. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna glue it like this. And then it kinda is like mystery tube. Where does the tube go? So I think that's what I'm going with. All right, and we can always rip it off later. That's one of the nice things about hot glue is you can just kind of decide against it and then you can just rip it off. I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. So like that. <laughs> yes, that's the idea that it would be recycled as fertilizer in the plant room. So hopefully. We want to make sure everything's is is reused as much as possible. Although I glued this too close over here and you can see the edge of it. Oops. All right, I might have to re-glue that. All right, I'm going to add some more glue to this. Just to make sure it takes hold. And then we can add some more buttons and things. Let's see what else I have here. Uh, there's some like little smaller bits on here that could just be added on. Oops, I messed this up somehow. Somehow in all of my crafting, I messed it up. <sighs> I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. Uh, let me pull some of these off and see if any of these things can be used. I think probably so. This looks like a little lever type thing. It's like a little T shape. Like so. That can be put somewhere, maybe on the front. Um, don't know what these are, probably car parts. So these look like, well, honestly, they look like a little pair of pants. So. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I missed some things. I missed what we're congratulating for, but congratulations. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what, what I missed. Okay, so I've got these little, I've got two little pairs of pants. If anyone's a car person, they can let me know what it is. So whatever these are for. And then let's see what else. I don't know what these are. They might be like pipe connectors. We'll cut we'll cut one of those off too. See what happens. All right, so we have some little smaller bits that we can add on. Ooh, Greek pasta salad, that sounds amazing. That sounds delicious. Okay, so.
so I think like this little piece can go on the front here. I don't know how much I want to add though if I'm going to do um, like some uh, spackling or something on here. I probably should do that pretty soon so that everything's as smooth as possible. Oh, congratulations for finishing fashion school. That is awesome. <laughs> that is, grad, graduating school is a huge accomplishment. <laughs> Takes so much time. Okay, uh, what should I do next? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I feel in my bones that I need to do the spackling. So we're gonna do that so it can kind of be drying and maybe maybe I can paint it before everything is is done so we'll see I'm gonna move some junk out of the way this is my little container of lightweight spackling and we're gonna get that in place and again you're not gonna see the back very much but that's okay I don't want to have like cracks of light coming through and this will help cover it up. And as it dries, it'll kind of help keep my tubing in place too, <laughs> to be honest. And this is a side you won't see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm missing, I'm missing comments, um, but welcome if you're coming in. Oh, someone's got a migraine. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Migraines are no fun. And I find that um, watching screens are um, like make my headaches. I know headaches and migraines are like two different beasts, but watching a screen makes mine so much worse. So definitely sign off if you need to. So you can rest and feel better. Okay, so this is a little difficult. I probably should have done this part before I added the tube in. That's okay. Okay, so put this in there. Okay. Hopefully I'm gonna have to like spread it out with my finger too. Okay, so it's, it's okay-ish. <laughs> Spackling compound is magical for working at scale. Yes, it solves so many of my snafus. <laughs> I feel like I can like work faster on things because I'm not having to be so, so careful because I know like if there's just like a little gap, like these gaps up here, I can fill them later and I don't have to like recut the piece 17 times trying to get it to fit exactly perfect. So definitely helps smooth things out. Okay. Just a bit more. Oh, I've had some on the lid here. Darn it. My brain's doing a billion different things right now, so trying to <laughs> trying to craft while read comments, while figure out the next steps. Okay, I also want to fill in this little line right here because I think it definitely continues to make it look more like it's made out of a cardboard tube. So I'm going to fill that in with some spackling. like so. And then just smooth it out as well as I can. Um, maybe a little control panel. I think, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I wanna do a control panel or some kind of button on it. Okay. So we'll let that dry for a little bit. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this in front of a fan really quickly and maybe we can work on a control panel and I wanna cut um, something that kinda looks like a vent to go on the top as we had mentioned earlier. <laughs> okay, fan on. Try to get all the little extra bits off that I don't need. Oh, and then someone mentioned adding like, oh, should, do you think I should do like grip strips or carpet? Grip strips or carpet? Let me know what you think for this little ramp. Cause I can do either. Um, I could do like a carpet that matches the carpet I put on in the cat closet inside of the captain's quarters. Okay. Let me put this in front of the fan. And we can work on a control panel type of thing. Carpet, carpet. been toying with the idea of doing a live on my channel, but it looks difficult to create and talk and read at the same time. It can be, <laughs> it definitely can be. Um, especially when you don't have like a clear, like pattern or idea that you're following and you're just kind of making it up, but it can also be fun because then you get suggestions from other people. So, um, the only thing that I don't like is that I, I can't see whatever, I can't see what everyone is saying. And so, I feel like some people think I'm ignoring them. I'm not, I promise. <laughs> oh, okay. I see grip strips, carpet. Oh, it looks like 50-50. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it looks like a, a split, split decisions. Okay, let's work on what I think might be an okay uh, vent looking thing. Um, I don't remember what these were for. They were just little thin strips. Um, but oh, I already have one that's like kind of cut out here. So maybe even just like four of them wide. Cut this off. Always have to make sure I'm actually still on camera. <laughs> I haven't just gone rogue. Oh. Cut one more piece through. There we go. So something like this, of course I'd have to cut it shorter. Let me see if I can cut this thicker side off. Um, Kelly says, how about jute twine? Hmm. I don't know if, I don't know if I have any. I wonder if I have any. I'll have to look it up. Sometimes it comes down to what materials I own <laughs> as to what I can use. Okay. Let's see if I can cut this piece off rather decently. Sorry, I'm, I'm just cutting a straight line. I know it's not very much on camera, but all right. Cut like so. All right, so this could be possibly the vent piece. And then when I attach it, I'll just have to cut off one side. Um. Sabrina says, hi from Mesa, Arizona. I tried to say hi earlier. I love your work and plan to visit your Adams family displayed in Tucson. Yay. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the museum too. There's so many cool things there. I love going there just to like, like the um, historical stuff that they have there is just mind blowing how, how old some of those items are. <laughs> All 
Oh, use the strips on the ramps. Oh, that could work too. Cause I'll have extra, cause I'm gonna cut some of them off. So let me see if it's drying yet. <clears throat> This stuff dries surprisingly fast, really. And especially if you use it in thin layers, it doesn't take long to dry at all. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, I do read back chat. I try to go through and see if I missed anything, <clears throat> which is usually a lot. <laughs> um, but yes, I will read back chat and if I, if you really wanted a response to something and you didn't get a response, you can always leave a comment after the the live finishes and then I will for sure see it and go back and comment on it. Okay, so if I can do this, I might do it the other way. Well, that's going to be harder to attach. So I might do something like this. I can kind of pre-curve this to fit. Kind of do like this. And then that'll maybe, maybe look like a vent. So we'll try that. <laughs> okay, we shall try and see how that looks. Never hurts to try it out. So I'm going to put this on like so. Like so. Hi everybody. Hi everybody who's just coming in. We are in the middle of uh, putting together a space cat litter box. This is what we've got so far. <laughs> okay. So if I cut all those pieces off. And then I think what you were saying is like put these on here kind of like treads. They're kind of already naturally spaced because they're hooked together. We could try that. I think it might look cool with the lines against, like there's lines here and lines here. So let's try that. All right. Do this. And then put this on here like so. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let that dry a little bit. And take this off. All right. There we go. We'll let that dry and then I'll snip off the sides. <laughs> uh, I tried my hand at miniatures 20 years ago. You reignited my interest. My daughter and I are working on some projects now. That's awesome. I love it when it like kind of goes down in the family as well. So. <laughs> Paw shaped button controls. Oh, that would be cute. I love your nails. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to do something like a little bit, like something easy. And I found this like dark blue that I had. It's kind of almost like a vintage dark blue. So I like it. Okay, so um, I think it's dry enough to clip off. We shall see. wasn't quite dry enough. <laughs> it's kind of moving all over the place, but that's okay. I 
can re-straighten them back out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so something like that. And then we can do the uh, control panel. I'm gonna put this back in front of the fan to hopefully dry that a little bit more. And then maybe we can do like a control panel that kind of goes on this side. See what we can come up with. All right here. <laughs> the piece looks familiar? Which piece looks familiar? Uh, let's see. Still wish I had my Nantucket dollhouse. My mom trashed it. Oh no. Aw. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dark blue TARDIS. Yep. Okay. So I'm thinking if we make kind of a panel that goes on the outside, that might work. I'm going to make it kind of an interesting shape. Not just plain rectangle. Maybe like cut the corners off. For some reason cutting the corners off of rectangles like makes it look spaceship like. <laughs> so let's see what I can do here. Okay so we'll cut this off. And cut this. Maybe we'll have this as like a little control panel and we can put some other things on it. Uh, wrap some rope around the ramp as a scratch post. Yeah, we talked about doing a scratching post on this too. I'll see how long we end up taking. But I think a scratch post like in, kind of in the same area would be a good idea. Oh. Um, Centauri does have a scratching post on the items that Veronica made that are going kind of on the other side. So there is a scratching post. I almost forgot. We got one. <laughs> I didn't make it though, so that's why I wasn't thinking about it. Veronica made it. Okay, so I have these little pieces here. So I might be able to add those. Um, hmm. Let's see. Kind of be cool if this like stuck out from the back. Like so, maybe. Uh, there's an amazing miniature museum in Victoria, Canada. We spent hours there and even my husband was enthralled. Oh, cool. <laughs> I would think it would be fun. I want to go to all sorts of different miniature shows. I want to go to all sorts of miniature museums. Um, yeah, that would be so fun. Just travel around, see all the things in all the different places. Okay, I'm going to glue this to the back. Just to kind of start a weird little control panel look. And then we can add some buttons and things to the front. Let's see if I have something that would be good for a button. <laughs> I guess we can cut off the ends of this piece. We'll try that. Uh, the great piece looked like acetate for the film. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I cut that piece for. I was trying to think what it could be, but I have no idea. That's why I like to keep my laser cutter um, 
cutoffs. You just never know when they'll be, they'll come in handy. Okay, I have these two little pieces. I don't even know if you can really see. I'll hold it up soon. Let me glue these on. Because if I don't glue them on now, I'm going to lose them for sure. No questions asked. So here's a couple little buttons. And I might Mod Podge over them just to make sure that they don't fall off. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, put this one on here. Now I have two little buttons. Oops, focus camera, you can do it. Two little buttons like so, and then one piece coming out the side. So let me see if I can find something else that can work on here. I don't know what that is, but that might work. <laughs> BHM road trip, <laughs> possibly so. It's like I would do like tour dates, but really, it, I don't do anything, I just show up at places. <laughs> so I don't know what this is, some other little car part, but I think I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to sand the back of it really quickly. And glue it on. I drove to Dallas to rescue my niece's dollhouse that I made. I'm so glad you were able to save it. <laughs> yeah, so many, so many dollhouses just, I know they're like, they're a lot of work, which is why I think people end up getting rid of them more than like trying to work on them. Cause it's like a ton of time that you put in. Um, so, if you're looking for a dollhouse and you're looking for a cheap one, keep your eyes open on like Facebook marketplace, things like that, because there are a lot of people who go through their stuff and get rid of things like that. Um, just because they don't want to put in the time to, to, uh, you know, fix it up or anything, which I understand. I understand completely how much time it takes. <laughs> So this is like, I don't know, maybe like a little license plate type piece. I'm gonna glue that on. <laughs> it needs a blue screen. Yeah, I'll definitely paint it all sorts of different colors, hopefully. I'm gonna cut this in half. If I can cut it straight. One nice thing about these plastic pieces is they're really easy to cut through. <laughs> Sand the back of this. Uh, those tiny thin little strips of paper you have lying around might work good as little fake LED display or something. Like these little, these little things. Marcus Place is where I found my last two houses at a fantastic price. Yeah, a lot of people will get into it and they'll maybe get the house built and they're just like, yeah, this is more work than I really want to put in. Like I said, I understand. But then it can go to somebody who is looking for a good deal and really wants to put in that time and effort to make it into something. So little control panel that does who knows what. <laughs> and we'll stick that there. Let me go grab our other piece. So we have this piece right here. Oh. Kind of glued that on 
crooked. Then this could kind of go like so, so that it could be controlled even by the robots or by the captain. So I don't know if I want to glue that on yet or not. Uh, but let me see if this is dry enough to paint. Eh, maybe not the back. I'm gonna add a little hot glue to speed this up. <laughs> dry faster please what's fun about this is I had no idea what this was going to look like when I hit start streaming <laughs> and now I really like how it's come out um, thanks to us all putting our minds together um, so yeah I think I can probably start painting the front of it I might want to sand this just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking it. And I appreciate all the tips on the cat stuff. I had no idea. I probably won't be able to put like cat litter in there during the stream because I want to make sure that the paint dries completely before adding that in. Um, but we might, yeah, we'll be able to at least get one coat of paint on here. So we'll get this all in here. Might be a little rough on the front, but that's okay. <laughs> going to Denver in September and we'll see the miniature show while there. Well, that's cool. I know there is there one in Philadelphia coming up. I think there's a Philadelphia show coming up soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's like in October or maybe it's early November. <laughs> um that's your BHM tour on when at all the dollhouse shows. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a coat of black paint, I think, and then we'll kind of see how it comes together. And I'll probably have to do like an update or something on um, my uh, community tab or something else to show you how it finally comes out in the end. Well, it'll be in a future Captain's Quarters video, but I think it'll be a really cool piece to hide in that back area so it doesn't just look like no one's actually supposed to look back there. There's something interesting that people can see. <laughs> I love sci-fi. Yeah, sci-fi is so fun because you can really do a lot with it because it's like it hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> you can really have fun with it. Well, some of it. <laughs> um, I am not great at knowing where all the shows are. The ones that I know of that exist, um, there's a Philadelphia show. There is, there's a Vegas show. I think it's called IMOMA, like I-M-O-M-A. There is, a Cal I think there's a couple shows in California. I'm not quite sure where they're at in California. Um, what else? There's a show in Vancouver. They're trying to get a show started in Georgia, but I don't know if this is the first year or what, because um, they came up and talked to me about it at the show. And then there's one in Dallas, where I'm where, near where I'm at. There's one in Chicago. Actually, I think there's two in Chicago. I did not realize that 
they kind of happen at the same time. I didn't realize there were two different shows. It's like the Chicago show, and then there's like called um, Three Blind Mice. So I think they're two different shows, but I don't know actually for sure. I've never been. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna, I've been avoiding paint palettes recently. <laughs> Just been putting paint straight onto my miniatures. Well, the bigger ones at least. So I'll do a base coat of black to cover everything. And then once that dries, it may be, it may have to be after the stream. Once that dries, I'll do like some silver on it. And then that's when the details will kind of start showing up. then I may have to do some kind of interesting litter color. <laughs> uh, there's a show in Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan. I did not know about that one. Yeah, if you know about one, put go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, so I am not, I have the worst memory when it comes to uh, like dates and times and places. I really just have a horrible time remembering. So, <laughs> uh, Seattle has one. <laughs> so, anyway, I think I think the Dallas uh, Miniature Show website at one point they had like a list of other shows but I don't know. And then there's shows all over outside of the US. There's a show in, um, in England. Uh, I know the name of it, but I can't think of it right now. Kensington, Kensington Dollhouse Festival, I think. Um, and then, oh, there, the Toronto show is October 14th. <laughs> Uh, I think there is one, I know there's one in Paris because one of the dealers that was um, near to me was saying that the next show he was going to was in Paris and I was like, lucky. <laughs> um, all right, now the trick is how to hold on to this without making a super huge mess. So I'm just gonna do a base coat over everything. Even the little pipe. Cause I, I don't think I want it to be see-through. <laughs> so even if we did put something in there, yeah, I don't think I would want a uh, see-through cat cleaning pipe, litter box cleaning pipe. All right. So I'm just gonna cover this as much as I can. Um, oh, the Good Sam show is in San Jose, California, October 14th and 15th. <laughs> I'm trying to shout out ones that I see. Again, sorry if I missed them. Uh, Netherlands has one. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna coat this. And sometimes with these plastic pieces, like the um, the pieces that hold the soda cans together, you have to like coat them first. You're not gonna get a good, a good coat of paint on them the first time you paint them. Sometimes you have to get some paint on there, let it dry, and then you can add more paint later after it completely dries. If you try to just keep adding paint on top of wet paint, it's all just gonna kind of come off. So you can kind of see how it looks. It looks like this at first and then just let it dry and then you can do another coat on top of it. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this up. 
And there's the <laughs> there's the messy beginning of our cat litter box. <laughs> Just like so. I can put this in front of the fan for a little bit. And then maybe I can do a kind of quick coat of silver paint so you can kind of see how it might look. Let me put it in the fan, in front of the fan really quick. And I'm gonna grab the silver paint while I'm up. I'll probably have to do another coat of black paint, but at least you can kind of get a chill, uh, an idea of how it will look. I just saw Chili Studios comment, so I was reading chill as I was saying that. Glitter litter. <laughs> it's not a craft project without glue and paint on the hands. Yep. Everywhere. I get paint everywhere. Why does it give me creepy dryer vibes now that it's black? <laughs> like one of those dryers that's in the in the basement that makes way too too much noise. <laughs> okay. Are you dry yet? The fan does dry things rather quickly, but sometimes not fast enough. All right. Um, I think I saw someone quickly earlier ask how messy my desk was. So I will zoom out so you can see my chaos. And some of it's even covered up by my mess here. So yes, it is quite a, quite a mess. Um, but then actually the captain's quarters is over on this side, like just off screen. And then there's like glue and some spray paint and all sorts of stuff on this side. So I'm kind of surrounded by projects and stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom us back in. There we go, zoom us back in. So these little bits came in handy. Um, I'm not gonna paint this quite yet cause I might paint it like a different color or something. I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna put this off to the sides. I'm just gonna kind of sweep things. All the stuff is encroaching. Okay. <laughs> my second hobby is peeling glue off my hands. Yep. Or peeling paint off of my, uh, off my paint palette. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it's doing. Still fairly not dry, but we'll put a little silver on it so you can kind of get an idea. So I promise it won't look like this in the end, <laughs> but I like to like finish the live stream off with something that you can actually see what it's going to look like. And right now it's just kind of a mess. That's okay. We know it all works out in the end. <laughs> it's actually pretty neat compared to my desk right now and my work table and my dining room. I did just clean, I will say. I did clean up before the live stream. So I had the entire desk, well, most of the desk to where I could work on things. All right, so just everything in this project has been base coat black and then the next coat silver. And I don't like to, you know, cover up all the black like in the corners and stuff because I think that makes it look kind of like old. So maybe this was made out of some kind of old ship part. Um, so the captain was like, Okay, we don't, we, we don't want just any regular litter box. We need an amazing litter box 
for Centauri. And also, this captain didn't want to clean it out, so maybe it was made out of some extra space stuff that was lying around. You never know. <laughs> is it snack time? Yes, definitely. It is definitely snack time. All right, so I'm gonna get some paint on here. Yeah, this side still has some wet black paint, but that's okay. This way you can kind of see it a little bit better. Whenever I paint things black on my screen, it's kind of hard to see. I just had chips. Chips sound amazing. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of silver on the base here. Now I do think I'll put some other colors on here. It won't just be plain silver, but here's the gist, the gist of our space cat litter box. <laughs> Without the litter, there's no litter in there yet. But unfortunately it just takes time to paint and let the paint dry and then all of that good stuff, as most of y'all know. <laughs> if you are also a miniaturist watching this, you know it's the, it's the waiting for paint to dry that's the hardest part sometimes. Or glue. Mostly glue, honestly, because I have a hard time waiting for it to dry and not touching it, because then it falls apart. All right, well, I think I'm probably going to wrap that up here uh, because I just am going to have to wait for things to dry a little bit longer, but I think we've got a pretty good start and it's going to be an interesting little um, hidden away interest piece, I think, for people who really go searching around corners in the captain's quarters. Um, so there's going to be some people who just kind of look at it and they don't see it, but then there's going to be some people who are like, what in the world is that back there? And hopefully they'll be like, oh, and they'll put it together with the fact that there's a cat in another part and like, you know, cause it kind of like all the little pieces start to tell the story of what's actually going on in the captain's quarters. So let me make sure my hands are clean enough and I'll show Centauri next to it as well. Uh, uh, they're, they're clean enough. I'll just hold his tail. <laughs> so here he is next to it. So you can kind of see, he kind of blends in with my mat. <laughs> so this is the size next to him. So I think it turned out pretty good. And I appreciate all the input on all of the cat things. <laughs> So I wasn't too lost. <laughs> so I will go ahead, I think, and end the live. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, I will update how this comes out on Instagram, Facebook, and maybe on the community tab here on YouTube as well and y'all will get to see the final look, but it'll probably be finished off camera. Or maybe, maybe I'll finish it in my next Captain's Quarters video. I don't know, we'll play it by ear. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm really bad at saying goodbye, so I'm just gonna say my awkward goodbye and um, wish you all the best, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully a video next week. So fingers crossed on that. <laughs> Awkward goodbye, everybody. I will see you later.